Hey YouTube, um, today is February 22nd, Thursday, 10.05 p.m. It has been about a week and a few days since I've done my last video, I believe. Usually I'll check the video I did previously before making a new one, but I'm just skipping that today so I don't recall what I was talking about in my last video, but that doesn't matter. So, we're starting fresh. Um, hey, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing good. Um, what do I want to talk about today? Dang, I forgot what I said in the last video. Well, I think the last video I was doing a full stack and finished that. But I didn't even finish. Or, yeah, my finished product wasn't as even close to the, what I actually wanted. So I, I'm sure I still have it. Damn, I'm showing you guys what I'm making now. But, Brian, oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this, whatever, I'm gonna show you guys again. And while that's loading, that was, I finished my full stack project. And then I worked on the JavaScript pro JavaScript project, and now I'm working on my Flex project. In the Flex project, you're working in a group, and I'll explain why that, more of that later. A demo user, this is horrible. It's supposed to. My God, I suck it. Okay, it's supposed to be spread out. After the thing I showed this whatever but this is my full stack and there's no comments or likes yet pretty bummed out I didn't get to finish that but I hope to do that in the future um and so after that I worked on my JavaScript project and so for JavaScript basically it says within the name but you have to make a project using JavaScript or some kind of some kind of JavaScript library, and I chose to make a video game. And my original proposal was like the super complex. I thought it was basic, but I guess it's it ended up being really complex because of physics and such. I wanted to make like a platformer because I seen like a tutorial. I thought it was doable. And little did I know, it was far from that. So it was basically this game. So this is the character. He's gonna jump and basically move around. But I didn't even take into account how hard it would be to create collisions for all of these different <laughs> um, floors and such, or these walls. And the lava is supposed to be able to kill you and make you restart and there's just a bunch of stuff that I thought was going to be easy because of the tutorial but that was like way beyond what I was capable of doing so my my project advisor he suggested I do like a Flappy Bird clone and I've seen a tutorial on that and this ended up being my finished product and this wasn't as my goal my end goal so I'm pretty disappointed but I did get the actual game right oh where am I at shit oh I'll just full screen it. I'll just look at me later. So the UI is horrible. I am gonna finish the UI. I was too busy working on the physics of the game. So I'm so happy like for the actual game. This is so fun to me. Like look at this. The bird freaking flaps when you press the space bar. This is so cool. You just wanna keep flapping. But um That was my JavaScript. I'm super proud of the actual game, not the UI. Oh, dude. Like, come on, look at this shit. Looks like a real freaking playable game. Um, I really want to finish this product, or this project, for sure. And if you notice, if I play long enough and don't die, it's going faster. <clears throat> Man. Yeah, this video is just going to be me playing this. Yeah. This is so fun because I'm a big gamer and to be able to create a game like from from scratch it's pretty 
pretty cool. And I really, out of all my projects I've created, this is my most enjoyable. Let's see how fast I could go. And it was cool because I made the background parallaxed, meaning it looks like it's scrolling forever. But what I did was I took an image, made sure it was the ending and beginning were connected. Or, yeah, it was like it looked endless. And then I made two of that single image. And then I put it in my JavaScript code. And when I got to a certain amount of pixels, I restarted the image to go all the way back to the beginning. So it just looked like it was scrolling forever. And I made this game purposely really easy. So if, for whichever instructor is playing it, they're not really playing for the difficulty. Um, <clears throat> so that was my second project. I finished that last week, and now the Flex project. It's a group project, and it's the the Flex project is. <clears throat> it was a project with a point that uh, it's supposed to make each individual of a cohort stick out more, right? Because we all know React, Redux. If we all knew no Rails, how can we be unique? So with Flex, we're supposed to be. Um, we choose what language we want to learn. And so what my partner and I did, we first wanted to do Django, and <laughs> we first wanted to do machine learning and learn Swift. That was like super impossible and stupid, because it's like way beyond our time frame of, of a week. Like to be able to learn all that and create a functional app. And so we took out the the mobile component or aspect of it, and then it was just the machine learning. And then with the machine learning, our project was um, a Spotify song recommender. And with our idea, we don't even need machine learning. So that's out of the picture. And then with Django, we found a tutorial for um, doing authentication for a user. And it was in Django, it was in React. And we talked to our instructor and he said we could we should just do the Mern's, um language. So that's Mango Express. React and Node. It's a JavaScript. It's a JavaScript uh, library or framework. But so my partner Neil is in charge of doing the um, JavaScript Express, and I'm just in charge of the styling right now. And this is what I've styled. Pause the video. Crap, it's not telling me. Let me finish. I think I'm talking too long, but. I'm getting better with my styling because like you see in my um, Instagram clone, my margin or my buttons are like overlapping each other which is super ugly and if the margins are all messed up like the search bar gets overlapped but I learned to compensate for that. So with the Spotify button on the top right, if, it, if the page gets a certain length it disappears and the logo centers. Or oh, actually it goes to the left. It used to be centered, but I thought looking to the left would be better. And the nav bar gets smaller. I'm really proud of that. And then <clears throat> my logic there was I guess if you use this media at or whatever. I'm I'm um telling CSS once one or HTML once my window hits eight hundred and twenty pixels the width, then, or from 0 to 820, things that are the code from line 140 to 152 will happen. So what I'm basically saying is Spotify box, which is this, I'll want that to dis disappear once it hits 820 pixels. This is so oh, it should show the pixels. Let's see if it does. Yeah, so right when I see right there, right when I hit 820, it changes to what I originally wanted, which was to show it. But from 0 to 820, it's going to do what I implied in this line of code of 140, 142 to, to have a display of none, which is why you don't see it. Then get out of it. And it pops up. I thought that was really cool. It makes my our page look 
more professional. Um, yeah, so that's what we're working on right now. I don't know how long this video is, so I'm going to try to end it right now. But that's what we've been working on, and we're on the job search curriculum. Um, but what are we doing? So after this project, we'll be working on algorithms and how to handle interviews and negotiations. And this week, we've been pair boarding, so like whiteboarding, but with a partner. And that's how I got into App Academy, so I'm comfortable with that. But I'm only comfortable with like Ruby algorithms. It's the questions we're getting is more than Ruby algorithms. It's what we learned throughout the whole co our curriculum, right? So today was like SQL, and I like super forgot how to do the or the syntax. So I got most of my questions wrong, and it was embarrassing. But it's a learning process, and I'm I'm just happy I'm here and I didn't fail. So um, doing a top long time. Um. Trying to think what else. I think that's about it. So, after this project, it's basically the job search, and then like the workload will be able to like calm down, and I could just focus on the job search, which is like all my hard work is leading up to. It's led up to this, so I can't give can't give up now, or I can't let my foot off the gas pedal, so to speak. So. Um, I think that's it. Uh, is there any more projects? No. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you guys, and I'll see you. I'm going to try to do another video in a couple of days, but we'll see. Bye.